decided to centralize our drugs, used to come direct from cancer facilities. But we realized these were, there were some challenges and loopholes that arose. And that is what we did. Uh, we centralized them and we asked facilities to order for drugs. So we really don't have to wait for the facilities to finish what they have in their stock before they order. We give them time and, and, and tell them. So when we do the back order in Kemsa, we're able to store them at the central store safely and properly. Because also another thing that the facility reports showed was that our drugs were in carton boxes and uh, some of them were on the floor and not stocked there. And we also went round as cabinet we went round with some of my colleagues to these facilities and actually we saw that there are times we find drugs and carton boxes and they were not stored well in um, at the stores leading to some challenges which can cause uh, which which can can lead to the drug not losing its efficacy. But we have worked on those areas and I want to assure the residents of the issue that our drugs are safe and we have enough drugs to serve our population. And this, I'm sure the residents can attest to that, that there are drugs in our facilities. Another thing we have done is to talk to our staff to ensure that they are balancing the drugs when they remove, so that we know, so that we're able to monitor that actually this one is almost finished. And we're also working on uh, computerizing the system. We have started, even though we haven't fully computerized it, so that we can know the situation real time. So those are the things that we have worked on in ensuring that we have that in our system.